So Rosie, how does it feel now that you've married a woman as a bisexual to be a lesbian? I didn't hear you. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know, I'm Rosie and that's Rose. Very confusing because we're married to each other. <laughs> Are you laughing because now you're a lesbian, even though you identify as bisexual but you married a woman, so now you're a lesbian? Is that why it's funny? Do you know what? Literally, this I was going to do another bisexy series on my yeah. own. Yeah. And I was going to really go into that because really? my last message on Tumblr was like, Rosie, why do you keep saying you're bisexual? You're married to a woman now, so you're a lesbian? Well, I uh -huh. asked you on Tumblr. It was like, an me. <laughs> I mean, yeah, still bisexual. And just because Rosie has married a woman does not mean she is now a lesbian. Doesn't mean my sexual identity has changed. It means she was always a lesbian and confused before. Can I just say one thing? I love how you call it your bisexy series and you've done one video. <laughs> I've got another one coming, so that makes three. It's like the time I said we're going to have a morning show called Morning World, and I made an ident, we haven't made one. <laughs> I'm here to be your... This is like a debate. So I'm here being your opposition. <laughs> and you have to prove... Why are you a chicken? I am a chicken. You'd in make an excellent chicken. I know I would. you make an excellent pigeon. Together, it would be foul play. It would be... Together, it would be chi chigeon. Chigeon. You missed my joke. It's the second time in the video play. you've missed <gasps> my joke. Oh, I like that one. Oh, my God. What was the other joke I missed? When I was a single rose and you missed it. Yeah, I did miss that, yeah. Okay, so you're asking me what it's like to marry a bisexual. Yeah, people are asking, because I guess... Don't trust you. Maybe some people are afraid to date a bisexual. Yeah, you should And be. I, even though, like, um, the bisexy series um, is about uh, dispelling, like, myths surrounding bisexuality that may put people off, mm. I do understand mm. why some people might be cautious. If you identify as lesbian and have, like, zero attraction to men in any way yeah and you're going to date someone who does have attraction to men i can understand how that might bring about some insecurity yeah maybe maybe make you feel a bit and un not so confident right because you're more likely to cheat so yeah okay some bisexuals maybe like Fuck boys. you know breaking people's hearts yeah but there are so many lesbians that do the same and then there are so many lesbians that are like faithful really good and same with bisexuals it's really about your who you are as a person rather than like your sexual orientation that affects that. Yeah. But yeah, but you did have concerns, so tell me why, what you thought, because you didn't even think I was a real bisexual going in to talk about that. I thought you were an attention whore and I was right. <laughs> no. And why I, do you think that? Tell me. I thought you were a bit of an attention seeker because I thought that it would make you look more attractive to both men and women to say that you swing both ways. Because think about it, it was back in the 90s when we dated. It was cool back then. It was not the 90s when we dated. <laughs> I think you didn't think I was a real bisexual because as far as you were concerned, I'd only dated men. And mm. so, even though you didn't know that I'd hooked up with some girls, I think you were like, well, she's only had serious relationships with men, so that means she's probably just straight and just, like, experimenting. Oh, Breaking sorry up. for having insecurities and an opinion. But, yeah, you're but right. That's what you thought, does right? that make me a bad, small-minded person? Yeah, it does. I'm not going to sit here and criticise myself for thinking that way back then. Yeah, I'm a probably a more educated person now so about I. bisexuals. I'm a more educated about everything. But back then... What were my main priorities? To protect myself and bacon. Two of those remain the same. Maybe not so much bacon because I do want a pet pig at some point. And it would be inappropriate to eat bacon around a pig. I'm so glad you want a pet pig, baby. It makes me so happy. Back to my original point. Yeah, I was probably a little bit closed-minded about bisexuals and what it means to be a bisexual. Did I trust Rosie at the time? No. Do I trust her now? No. But the important thing is I'm a better person because I've educated myself about what it means to be a bisexual. Are you a real bisexual if it's not an even 50-50 split? No. <laughs> yes. The answer is yes. It doesn't matter what percentage, what way you swing, what... If you are attracted to both sexes, romantically, sexually, I guess that means you're a bisexual. Have I offended anybody in what I've just said? Probably everyone. Do I care? No. One thing I've learned about dating a bisexual is... When they say to you, I am faithful, 
believe them because it's all about the person their soul and their heart and Rosie has a good soul and a good heart and honestly it's only the person in the relationship who can really understand the level of trust that you have so from an outside perspective people who might have doubts about dating a bisexual might think oh they're probably gonna break up or someone's gonna cheat but you know what no you can say that about any relationship yeah. any relationship any relationship you're gonna break up or be together for the rest of your life exactly it's two options I don't feel it's 50-50. I think it's very rare that someone stays together forever. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying it can't be done. I'm just saying it's rare. You have to Are you saying of... that it can't be done because I married you last year? I know. Well, you I... look really confident. I'm not saying... <laughs> it's probably because you're a lesbian now and you're like, I just want to go and explore the whole lesbian world because you're not married to a girl, so I guess you made your mind up. So... We're going to be married forever, obviously. Forever and then after forever. In the afterlife. Yeah, I you promised. Yeah, I promised. All right. As long as I can do it, I will. What do you mean, as long as you can do it? Is well, that a bisexual's promise? Well, like, what if we're reincarnated and I'm actually your mum? Then I wouldn't be able to marry you. Your more girls works. I know, it does work, yeah. But anyway, so here's what I thought just now. Say we did break up, right? Even though we're not going to, but say we did. I don't know if, like, what if I pursued... A lesbian and they didn't want me because I'm bisexual impossible who wouldn't want you impossible in your little lovely Christmas little I got real upset to say when you said what if we don't make it we will make it I'm t- no I didn't say what your if voice we- just cracked like a teenage boy because that's what happens when you lie or you don't believe something no I'm just upset tell me you. we'll make it well, your voice just cracked it's because I got upset just the thought of it alone <laughs> Seriously, stop it. I do cry when upset? I think about it. Yeah, I get upset. I get upset when you say things. I want to be with you for the rest of my life. And then after the rest of your life. Yeah, you I promise. do. It. Yeah, I do. Why do you always laugh about it? Because I can't but, control it. Yes, you can. No. If there's a cloud that we sit on looking at all the little no. stupid people on earth being all like unfaithful and oh, <laughs> there's our kids making all the same mistakes as us. <laughs> I want to be there sipping a mojito, eating some cheese balls because in heaven you haven't got an intolerance in heaven i hope that i could eat um any food i want and it doesn't harm any animals alternatively if we burn in hell because we're gay first of all you love hot weather i do i love hot weather second i also love the smell of bonfires red's my favorite color and my initials make sense yeah all our friends will be there yeah sex with anyone regardless of their genitalia is Mm -hmm. different on a case by case basis. basis yeah it doesn't matter that's what I was trying to say in my last bisexy video and the reason I'm like oh yeah I've got this bisexy series and then I haven't made any more is because I felt bad because I worried that I accidentally offended some people in my last video so please know if I offended anyone with my last video um, it didn't come from a nasty place you know I never intended to be offensive I think I may have just uh, picked my wording a bit wrong because I was talking about men and women uh, but what I, I meant to refer to the sex not uh, the gender because I understand uh, uh, you know that just because you have a your sex you might have a penis that you might not necessarily identify as a man I get that right. yeah so I kind of misphrased it um, and that's honestly why I haven't made as many bisexy um, videos because you've been educating yourself yeah. and educating me yeah oh well I don't even think I did, was educated before I just think my wording wasn't very good I didn't um, express your, express myself very well. I knew exactly what yeah. you were saying I never and meant to be like you have to have a penis to be a man you have to have a vagina to be a woman I let me, never ever let me tell that. you something this girl is the most well-intentioned person I have ever met in my life do you know what I always you know act like I'm all hurt and whatever that you still like men or whatever and yeah okay maybe a little bit whatever but genuinely because we're married and I love you and I know the situation between us we're married for the rest of our lives yeah and the afterlife yes and the afterlife and the afterlife after the afterlife I hope it's just one afterlife anyway um I genuinely don't worry about it like if you're walking down the street and you're like oh that guy's hot not that you ever actually say that ever I don't think I've ever heard you say that I think I say it about tv people yeah it doesn't really hurt my feelings because I know that I'm the best of the best I think The biggest thing, the biggest challenge I had to face dating a bisexual in the early days of our relationship was the negative stigma around being a bisexual as viewed upon by my parents because they are from a, they're from a different generation anyway. So throw in some like bisexuals, they're so sexual and they're dirty and threesomes Mm, and they love it. I think, (laughs) I think that was difficult to break down because not only had I had to 
stick up for bisexuals to my parents. But then when we did have our, not problems, but when we were not really sure if we were yeah, yeah. or whatever, it was difficult for me to then be like, believe my own words, because I was like, oh, is it because... Honestly, I thought, is it because you're bisexual or is it because you're you? I think down, deep down I knew it was just because you were mm-hmm. you and you had to just live life and do what you wanted to do. But it was difficult for me to yeah. then like back have your corner because yeah. I was like, yeah. If I'm honest, because even though I've been with girls before, because you were my first serious girl relationship. Serious. Like, we first met each other's parents and like... First yeah. and only. In this life and the next. I think that honestly, that was the one time in my life that I'd struggled with my bisexuality because mm. I... Had to make I a choice. Knew. At the end of the day, that's what you were worried about. You were so in love that you thought, right, to keep this person, I have to decide whether not only to be exclusive, but to ditch men altogether, possibly and potentially for the rest of my life. Yeah, that's which I have scary. Done. That's got to yeah. be scary because not only is that commitment, because mm. anybody, any any straight person would have the fear of commitment. Like, wow, I'm giving up what could potentially be a lot of other women or a lot of other men. And this is going to be one person for the rest of my life. Well, this is going to be one person and one sex for the rest of your life. Yeah, that that's what it was, isn't it? You look scared, Rosie. What's wrong with I'm you? I'm just trying to think about it. I did struggle with it. Did you but really? But the thing is, if I'd have ended up with a man and married a man, that's the same thing. That's being with one yep. sex for the rest of your life. Yes. Yeah, so if I... Did, did you have that fear? I, I definitely had my struggles. Yeah. Um, wow. I don't know how I got over it, really. I guess I figured what? that... Are you over it? No, I'm over it. I'm saying I'm trying to say how. <gasps> I think that what happened... <laughs> I think that what happened was I thought, well, I'm going to be... I'm all for monogamous relationships. Same. We're not open. And so I knew that I'd end up with one person. And regardless of who I ended up with, I would only be with one person. So it was always going to, not limit me, but mm. it was always going to be that way. You mm. know what I'm saying? Like I've noticed since we got married that you've been more vocal about being attracted to women than men. But maybe that's just because you want to preserve my feelings. No, I think that, um, I think that being with a woman puts me in a... Being with a lesbian, what are you doing? Why are you sniffing me? Right. I think that being with a woman who is attracted to women, yeah, um, it's a big influence. Puts me in that kind of uh, zone. Yeah, we we you know we've had friends who are lesbians. Yeah. Um, Slept with most of them. With the like lesbian culture, I don't know, but I'm still attracted to men. So if you're a if if you were in a room full Mm. of by hot men and hot women and, and and straight girls who are talking about oh my god this guy's so cute oh my god he didn't come with that that's not what every straight girl sounds like but in my head it is <laughs> would you therefore be more inclined to be like oh my god I know oh my god stop it he's so cute oh my god I don't know it depends what the drama is because the trends he's got the juiciest drama oh my god he's got an STI but I don't even care like put it on my face you know I'd like wear it I'd like go to dinner at his parents house like yeah it's my STI but oh my god we're so in love that is a really strange I don't like, know skit you just that's performed that's what straight people say I find it um hard to talk about bisexuality without it unintentionally offending people um because you have decided to, to speak. speak like a robot this, yeah, this, is, this, <laughs> this is my brain <laughs> process can you smell the fumes thought process speed wait i am now a lesbian can i just say something on a more serious note yeah i genuinely think that the world is becoming a more accepting place i agree and i think that Everyone in this online community and everyone offline uh, in the LGBTQ plus community are doing everything they can to make that so. I think what's most important is that everybody is different and variety is beautiful. Everyone is different shapes, sizes, races, genders, sexual orientations, mm-hmm. um, everything. And I'm like, why would that ever be a problem? Just yeah. because you might not understand something doesn't mean that it's bad. Like, yeah. like there are so many people that don't understand uh, gender identity and you know what I was one of them and I think a lot of people would be first to say I didn't understand and that is fine 
fine, but educate yourself mm. and get on board because this is the way of the world because people are people. You might not yeah. be able to see their soul, but that's the only thing that's actually important. Mm -hmm. And like whatever your, this is just like a vehicle for your soul, in my opinion. That's just what I believe. And I believe that your vehicle might not necessarily represent what you feel your soul and in your heart might mm. be, mm -hmm. you know, conventionally. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, okay, let's live in a world where we can be whatever we want and as long as we feel comfortable and others around us make us feel comfortable, then that is so accepting and that's so beautiful. And just think about when people fall in love, this is what I don't understand when it comes to prejudice or homophobia. How can you say that two people, whatever they look like, whatever they say they are or believe that they are, whatever, if you don't understand it, whatever, that's fine. But if they say that they are in love... Like, why is that a problem? Yeah, and who are you to say it's a problem as well? But why would that ever be a problem? This is one thing I don't understand about homophobia. Why would two people in love, when love is one thing and they feel it, how is that offensive? How is that offensive? Like, there is so much hate in the world. Why would people being in love ever be insulting to someone? Mm. I don't understand. Mm. Like, maybe... I, I just don't understand. I'll never understand it. And I think that... Um, I've probably spoken too much. Tune in next week. I'll close your show if you want me to. I just, too. yeah, I feel really enlightened. Thank you, I do have that effect on a lot of people. Like, comment and subscribe. Always remember to be good to each other, be nice to people, and we will see you at some point in the future. Bye. Bye.